G'day guys, Terry Bone here. Um, we were just waiting for a video to finish editing. I just got to resave after I played around a little bit. Um, so, and I just, I've been wanting to do another rant video, just a quick one for a while. And I keep, every time I get the camera out, I keep forgetting what it's supposed to be on. Um, so, this one's when people say there's only three days worth of food left in supermarkets after a disaster. Bullshit. There's like one hour's worth of food left in the fucking supermarket. Um, I work in one. I work in a butchery department in a supermarket. And when we've had our earthquakes or whatever, you get put on to fucking general duties. Like, it's not a... It stops being you do exactly your job. If something needs to get done, like, you got to clean up aisles and all the shit's fallen off. And the September one... Uh, the, which was a September 4th, it was a Saturday morning like 4.30 when we had the 7.1 um, I couldn't get back to sleep after it, like not many people could because um, we had big aftershocks frequently um, for the next week um, so it was like, you know, you're sitting in bed like should I go back to sleep? Ugh, 5.5, oh Christ, we'll get up again and considering that was like the start of our earthquakes none of us were used to any of that now um, or any of that at the time but um called up work at like, you know, like 5.30 and you're like, well, I'm not doing anything, do you want me to just come in? Like, I, I wasn't supposed to start until like 7 in the morning, um, and then because I do like 7 a.m. till 6 p.m. on Saturdays, and um, so I called up, I was just like, do you just want me to come in early, like, do you need help cleaning up, sort of thing, like, I'm not going to be doing anything this morning, I've I'd sorted out everything around my house, my old man was here and he was sorting things out as well, um, and all my gear was, all my ducks are in a row anyway, so that was fine. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'll come in and help. Um, and we ended up cleaning up the shop from, basically when I got there at like 5.30, there was people turning up to help clean up. Through to, we opened at 1 in the afternoon. So the whole time we were cleaning, because the aisles full of fizzy drinks and oil and um, juice, uh, you think of anything liquid, beer and wine, um, <laughs> Anything liquid in glass bottles, plastic bottles. Imagine most of that falling off the shelf, potentially from like up here, onto like a solid concrete floor with a little bit of lino on it. And there was just shit everywhere. Like the whole floor was wet. Like there's still stains in some of the aisles now. And this is like I was still in the same place. And this was like a couple of years ago. But um, it's you, so first off, you're going to have initial stock loss from the stuff that gets fucked up potentially in a disaster if there's damage um, and then when we opened at one o'clock it was hectic there were like everything like bottled water and canned food and a lot of dry food was gone within 30 minutes like all of the cans like everything um, and then like our department which is meat like the only thing we sold was like the pre-cooked sausages and like saveloys and frankfurters and stuff the stuff that doesn't actually really need to be cooked before you can eat it Every, like they, they left like all the steaks and everything like they, you know, because lots of people don't have power. There's no point in trying to cook food without power. So, um, yeah, it was. It doesn't last fucking three days. You can't be like, oh, there's going to be all these extra people coming through, and we've got three days. It doesn't fucking work like that. It, it, it kind of gets me a bit grumpy, but it's, it's laughable at the same time when you see people saying that constantly on the internet, and it's just like, oh, there's three days worth of food after a disaster. <laughs> there's not. Like, it literally will last hours. Like. We were cleared out before five o'clock in the afternoon of just about everything. Um, our boss was like, if you guys need anything, like the store owner was like, if you need anything now, we'll let you go through with a few items each, like milk and bread and whatever, like buy some stuff before the customers come through. And that was probably a good idea, like for some of those people that, you know, didn't prepare for things. Um, but it doesn't last that long, so prepare it now. Don't even try and run the... And it's hectic as well. Like, it's absolutely mental trying to deal with some of those people that are going batshit nutty over, like, you know, anything. I had one guy, like, get up in my face over um, me not knowing where something was. Like, if you guys don't know already, like, when you are, like, in a supermarket, well, in most of the ones I know, you get assigned, like, a department. So it'll be, like, the butchery or the deli or the... Um, or like the bakery or checkouts or the grocery bit, which are the guys that actually stack the shelves. And, like, so I'm out and helping put stuff out in, like, our butchery cabin, like our big chillers. Like, so I'm out there stacking stuff, like, helping the other boys that usually do it. And oh, this, this might have been after the February one. And um, 
But like, I'm sitting there and I'm like cutting open boxes. So I've got my knife out and I'm uh, cutting the box open. This guy comes up and goes, oh, do you know where they're like something odd? Um, like eggs or whatever it was. And I was like, oh, sorry, mate, I've got no idea sort of thing. Like that person down there with that trolley, they work in that department. They'll be able to help you out. And he goes, why don't you know? I was like, well, I don't work in that department. Like I might as well, I know just as much about the rest of it as you most likely sort of thing. Like I'd help you if I could, but I honestly have no idea. And he's all like, well, why don't you know? I was like, because I don't. Like, I work in the butchery. And he gets like, and I was like, it's not my problem. And he gets like right on my face. And I'm sitting there with my knife out still. And he's just like, make it your fucking problem. And I'm just like, are you serious? Like, you're going to fight me because I don't know where eggs are. Like, yeah, people get like real fucking weird when things like that happen. So it's just like a, um, a basic, uh, getting used to where the pocket is on these, um, Getting, yeah, it's, I, I wouldn't risk like going in to try and get food or whatever out of a supermarket. Um, it's, yeah, I don't know, it's just not worth it, I don't think. Um, alternative thing that people don't usually talk about is um, what I was doing when I needed things. I wasn't even bothering going into the big ones. I was driving along, another, there's another good reason to have fuel preps. Um, less affected areas further out of town, small townships, um, especially off highways. So you go the opposite direction from the main sort of drag, like we've got our main highway that goes from like Christchurch, goes up towards like Kaikoura, if anyone's familiar with the South Island of New Zealand, down towards Timaru, Omaru, Ashburton. All those places are going to be cleaned out of fuel as well, and that's where most people go. I was heading out um, Diamond Harbour and Dumashell and Akaroa way and picking up stuff when I needed it, because um, they still had lots of fuel. Um, so I was going over there with jerry can runs with like lots of jerry cans and a lot of cash and just being like, you call before you go as well because that's something else stupid and you'll be like right I'm coming over I want to get 200 litres of 95 or 91 unleaded petrol do you guys have it or diesel or just anything you want just going over there with stepdad or whatever picking up heaps of fuel buggering off back um, that gives you a lot of flexibility keeps you sort of the vehicles filled you've got back stock of fuel um, and you don't need to do it that often um, but you could also like their shops still had things in them like not some of the bigger, more common things, but you know, if, like that's another option for people that might not think about it. Is you can get, um, you know, little stores that are still going to have like my potentially like long-term store things. Probably not like milk and bread and things because if everyone's running out, they're probably going to be running out as well. But stuff that's packeted usually and sort of lasts for a while, they'll probably still have. So if you're really in desperate need of something like that, it might be best to hit up some of the smaller shops. But yeah, anyway, cheers, guys.